Hi everyone, my name is David and if you're new to this channel, I make videos where I talk about music, videos where I demonstrate how to use modern music production software, and videos where I make music. And this is one of those videos where, where I talk about music. Specifically this concept of my music and your music. Many of the people who watch this channel are music creators, and if you make music for a living or as a hobby, my music often refers to the music that you're making, and your music often refers to the music that I'm making. Whether it's the jam you do with your band, or the beats you've put together in your DAW, or the songs you've written and recorded into your laptop, for music creators, my music means the music I've made, and your music means the music you've made. But for most people, that's not true. For most people, my music means the music that I listen to and like, and your music means the music that you listen to and like. Have you ever been on a road trip about 30 minutes into a dope three to four hour Spotify playlist you've meticulously crafted when your girlfriend says, we've listened to your music long enough. Can we listen to my music now? I think the second definition of my music and your music is true whether you're a musician or not. I know that there is a whole lot of music out there that other people have written and performed that I consider mine, and I fully grant that everyone I meet has his or her music, unless they don't like music, in which case, they're weird. But I think it speaks to the power of music that people would feel as if they have ownership over the music they enjoy. You don't really think of your favorite movies as your movies. You don't really think of your favorite works of art as your paintings or sculptures, but you think of your favorite music as your music. And that's the power of music. It becomes not just art that we enjoy, it becomes something that we possess and something that possesses us. And this YouTube channel is for music enthusiasts and creators, but I speak specifically to the creators when I tell them that they have to make music. The music you create and share with the world is uniquely yours, and the music that I create and share with the world is uniquely mine. But music possesses a rare magic in that your music can become my music, and my music can become your music, and our music can become a total stranger's music. Someone thousands of miles away in a distant country with a different life can find something in your music that that they can relate to, and it makes it their music. Now there's no guarantee that this will happen. You may release your music online, and it never becomes someone else's. But there's only one way to guarantee that it won't happen, and that's to not share your music with the world. That's why it's so important to keep going. Keep making music because you never know when you will make that one piece that someone else loves so much that it possesses them, and they possess it. So I encourage you to share your music with me in the comments. And if you do, I promise I'll listen to it. And maybe your music will become my music. But there's only one way to find out. Thanks for watching, everyone.